facing plenty of social media backlash. Broadway star Jennifer Holliday, Holliday is no longer performing at Trump's inauguration. Holliday uh, signed on to sing on Thursday, but then declined over the weekend and apologized to fans. Here's a portion of her statement. Quote, my only choice uh, now is to, is to stand with the LGBT community and to state unequivocally that I will not perform for the welcome concert or any other inaugural festivities. Please know that I hear you and I feel your pain. The LGBT community was mostly responsible for, for, my birthing, for birthing my career and I am deeply indebted to you. Uh, when asked why she didn't apologize to the black community, Holiday told MSNBC host Joanne Reed the community offended her. I did think about the African American community, even though black Twitter really uh, hurt me a lot in the sense of not even giving me a chance, calling me and calling me house calling me uh, angel mama, calling me all kind of names and asking me to kill myself from the black community. So that yeah. was hurtful, uh, especially because I didn't see what I had done to warrant that. Um, but I do think that one thing that I looked at, that maybe I should have looked at the climate of where we are today. Sure. And uh, so that would be my fault. Everybody kept saying, oh, did the Trump, did Trump trick you? Or and no, they did not trick me into one. I wanted to sing. To on think. the mall for America and for the yeah. people. I wanted my voice, I thought, to be an instrument of healing and unity. Mm -hmm. That's all I thought about. So here's a look at the headlines. Uh, country singers Toby Keith and Lee Greenwood and the rock band Three Doors Down, the Rockettes, and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir are, are expected to perform uh, for the inauguration. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.